Hey guys, nice having you. Uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at question 1A on the May 2012 CSET math exam pass paper. Now, here in question 1A, they're asking us to calculate the exact value of 3 and 1 fifth minus 2 thirds all divided by 2 and 4 fifths, okay? Now, what you call this, this is a complex fraction, and for some persons, it may look a, a little bit ugly, so let's just get it organized, okay? First thing what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give this a name. I'm going to call it W, but you could call it uh, L, you could call it A or B, it doesn't really matter, okay? It's, it's your preference. Now, here, I am going to simply say, we're going to rewrite W, okay? Just to get it a bit more organized, okay, my friends? So let's rewrite W. Now, these mixed numbers, what we're going to be doing with them, we're going to convert them to improper fractions. So to do that, I'm going to say three fives, which is the whole number three. I'm going to multiply that by my denominator. So here I'm going to say three times five, okay? And let's put that in a bracket, and I'm going to simply add my numerator to that, which is the positive one. And then all of this must go back over my denominator which is the 5 so let's just put the 5 there and then we're going to subtract from that my friends we're going to subtract 2 thirds so just let, let's quickly put back our 2 thirds so let's just put this in a bracket because if you notice this is at the top if you notice this is at the top so let's just calculate that by itself as our numerator it's pretty much that easy and what this is simply saying all of this in my numerator up top uh, is being divided by my denominator two and four fifths so let's just change this vinculum that's that that's what the horizontal line here is called to a division sign it means the same thing and let's just convert our mixed number down there to an improper fraction by saying two times five okay and let's put that in a bracket and we're going to simply add our numerator in the four to that and we're going to put all of that again upon our denominator which is the five now quickly let's just simplify what's inside the bracket here which is really our numerator up top so this implies let's not forget the imply sign so this implies that three fives will give me a 15 and i'm adding one to that 15 okay and all of that is upon five and i'm going to simply subtract 2 upon 3 from that, 2 thirds. So let's just put that in a bracket. And I'm just walking you through step by step, not to skip any steps so you follow exactly what is happening. So this is being divided by 2 fives. That will give me a 10 and 10 plus 4. Okay? And all of that is upon 5. Okay? Now, my friends, let's just take this up top, up here, so that we have a little bit more space to work with. So this implies that 15 plus 1, that will give me a 16 upon 5. So let's just put that there, 16 upon 5. And that is being subtracted by 2 and 2 upon 3, 2 thirds, okay? Now, we can just simply work this out inside. We're, going, we're just going to simply put this in a bracket and we're going to work it out. So here, when we are subtracting or adding fractions, we always find the LCD. So the lowest common denominator, that's what LCD means, of 5 and 3 is 15. So let's put a 15 there. 5 into 15 goes 3 times. So we are going to multiply the 16 in our numerator by that 3, okay? So simply, my friends, you can say 3 sixes will give us an 18. So you can simply put down the 8 and then you can carry the 1, okay? Th then you say 3 1s will give me a 3 plus the 1 up top will give me a 4. So 3 times 16 is 48. And we're going to simply subtract from that. 3 into 15 goes 5 times. And that 5 that we have just got, we are going to multiply it by the 2 up there. So 2 5s will give me a 10, okay? Now, what we have here, we're subtracting 48 minus 10. That will leave us with a 38, upon 15 okay so essentially what our numerator if you should go back to the original and look up here or what's inside the bracket here what our numerator works out to be is really 38 upon 15 but remember now we're dividing we're going to be dividing that by or 10 plus 4 which is 14 upon 5 okay because remember we haven't calculated that as yet now, we can just take this down here, my friends, and we can say what we have here is really 38 upon 15, okay, which all of this has worked out to be, is being divided by 14 
upon 5. Okay? Now, if you notice, we are dividing fractions here. And to divide fractions, it is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So, what that simply means is that the fraction at the front always remain the same. So, I'm just going to simply take down my 38 upon 15. And then you're going to change the division sign to a multiplication sign. And then simply, you're, the fraction that is at the back, you're going to flip it or turn it upside down. So instead of having 14 upon 5, we're going to have a 5 upon 14. All right. So this implies that we can just simplify this now, guys. So I can say 5 into itself will go once and 5 into 15 will go three times. OK, now let's use the, another factor to simplify uh, a common factor to simplify 38 and 14. I know that a 2 into 14 will go will go seven times and a 2 into 38 will go 19 times okay so here guys we have 19 times 1 since we can't simplify anymore we're just going to simply multiply across so 19 times 1 that will give me a 19 upon 3 sevens that will give me 20 one okay so here is my answer 19 upon 21 and it's pretty much that easy see you in the next video where we'll be looking at part b bye bye